Perth Bullion Company is in liquidation. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Earlier today I shared my experiences buying some certificates backed by real gold, apparently, at the Perth Mint. And on that video someone left a comment explaining or sharing the sad news about the Perth Bullion Co. going into liquidation. This just happened on the 2nd of July. So it's in liquidation and there's now a receiver that has been appointed or administrator has been appointed, RSM Australia Partners. And we'll have a look at what information they've provided. But I thought I would share this just to highlight the risks of buying these type of products online, um, you know, because we can have a look here at some of the reviews. So two weeks ago, you know, Gandalf Gandalf left the review, just received my first order from PBC. They were quick to reply to my inquiries, very well packaged, delivered all the good, thank you. And the owner even responded two weeks ago. Thank you so much for your feedback. It's much appreciated. Hope you have a great day. Okay. And then we have another one here from Tommy. And this was just done a day ago. Purchased coins three weeks ago. Excuse after excuse regards to IDs which have been provided two weeks ago. And today find out they're in administration. The thieves take your money and do a runner. So if this is accurate, poor Tommy's now going to have to see if he'll get any of his money back that he's paid to him. So three weeks ago, you know, they already weren't sending his stuff out. But Gandalf, Gandalf got it two weeks ago. So what's happening. Here we go, GN. Two days ago, I've called this company to inquire about my paid order over 10 times in the last three business days. No answer. I've emailed them twice. No answer. Have I been scammed or are they incompetent? Well, I'm afraid they've been wound up. And if we have a look here, their website is still up and running at the moment. It's still up and running, but it's in the process of getting resolved, getting addressed. And I'll bring that over here too. You can see the website's here. It has the message from the top of the uh, the liquidator that they're really handling it. And they've shared a letter. And well, let's read through this letter that they've, they've uh, provided. This was on the 11th. So just two days ago, two days ago. So Bullion Bros or Bors, Proprietary Limited in liquidation, formerly trading as the Perth Bullion Company, Silver Solar. I confirm my appointment as liquidator of the company by the order of the Federal Court of Australia made on the 2nd of July 2019. A copy of the order is attached. On this afternoon of Tuesday the 9th of July, I was successful in obtaining control of the company's premises and securing its contents which have been previously under the control of the company's, company's director and a related entity. So at least now, at least now, the administrator has control of the assets of the company. So that is hopefully a good, good thing. Uh, and even if, I mean, with these type of things, once an order has been made, once an order has been made, uh, and you know, the directors try and steal all this stuff and shift things around, it, there's still ways to, to get it back. Things can be reversed and they can do it, but that's the job of, you know, the liquidators, the accountants, it's not an enviable process. I think auditors always make good money. Anyway, the business has ceased to trade. Yeah, I've looked on the website. You can't actually buy anything anymore. I'm currently assessing the records of the company, all stock holdings, and seeking to establish the various interested parties. We understand the concern people will have at this time in such circumstances. I seek your understanding and patience whilst we undertake this necessary work to protect the interests of all parties. The circumstances that I've currently identified include one, safe deposit box holders, two, online purchases, paid, partially paid with uncollected goods, three, allocated storage, four, unallocated storage, five, buybacks, and six, money, monies received post appointment. To assist with our assessment and your claims, I invite you to provide the following at your earliest convenience, invoices, order numbers, receipt of payments, and contracts or agreements. 
Given the volume of inquiries we've established, dedicated communication channels. Please utilize these avenues for all communication and provision of the above matter. So here's the website, Perth Bullion, the phone number and the email address. Okay guys, so if you've been caught by this, this is the contact details that you'll need to use. And here we go, the Federal Court of Australia, District Registry, Western Australia. So Deputy Commissioner of Taxation, the court orders that one, Bullion Borrowers Proprietary Limited be wound up in insolvency under the provisions of the Corporations Act 2001. Neil Raymond Cribb of RSM Australia Partners, Level 32, Exchange Tower 2, the Esplanade Perth in the state of Western Australia be appointed as liquidator of the defendant. The plaintiff's costs of the proceedings be fixed in the sums of $2,752 and be reimbursed in accordance with subsection 4662 of the Corporations Act. Date that entry is stamped 2nd of July 2019. So there is the official notice. Now, what you can do here on the ASIC website, and I will bring that over here. We can see here what we have. And you've got the ASIC website, and you can have a look at just notice of winding up uh, order appointment of the company. You can do searches for companies on ASICs for public notices when companies have gone liquidations. It may be kind of too late for the people that have been investing in it a few weeks ago, but you know, it's, it's, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. I mean, we look here, just type in silver solar and it'll load up. Eventually, it will load up. Come on. Come on. Is my internet gone down? Damn that MBN. <laughs> so, I mean, here you go. Notice of winding up order and appointment of liquidators. So, you can see here. Maybe we could do builders. So, you can find all of the... Notice of demand, special special resolution, canny builders in liquidation, ACM builders group in liquidation, TNG sustainable builders in liquidation. Um, so all this month, or these these are this month, these are last month. This is probably another thing to just keep an eye on with how the economy is going and to search. So guys, it's um it's disappointing that it gets to this point uh obviously if people were purchasing things and not receiving it within the last few weeks i'd, I'd hazard a guess that they were in trouble that they were in trouble already you know because people haven't got their purchases so maybe it's maybe this is a sign that actually going in there and physically buying it has some advantages because if the company's at risk because there's asymmetrical information whenever you buy online whenever you buy online and I mean, if you've done this, let me know. I mean, if, if you've purchased it, if you purchased it with credit card, would you have a credit card? Um, would you have a credit card protection? I'm not sure if you would under a purchase like this, you know, or if you've just done a direct transfer, maybe you wouldn't. So yeah, guys, this is one for you all to keep aware of. Have any of you invested using this before in the past? Uh, and if you're familiar with the business, you know, let me know in the comments, share your experiences. Are there any other companies you would recommend that you use? You know, who goes in there and actually buys it in person? Do you find it, uh, is it more trustworthy? You know, do you have the safe set up at home and do you store it yourself? Because this is the big challenge with this, with buying, investing in these precious metals, is you can buy, you know, bars and different things, but you know, five kilogram bar, someone can come in your house, pick it up and walk away with it. I mean, how many, how many people would actually know the value of that? You know, a druggie or a meth addict coming in and just trying to take something, would they appreciate it? Could you have it sitting around? What if the kids lost it? What if you had a little bar of gold and the kids were playing with it and lost it? So you'd obviously want to get a safe. You'd obviously want to sort it out. But uh, thank you for letting me know, making me aware of this and leaving the comment on my previous video. I think this is important just to share with people so they can uh, respond to it. And I feel sorry for everyone who's who's gotten wound up in this, particularly if you've made a big uh, purchase. Because, damn, that's uh, that's concerning, guys. 
It really is. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this episode. I do talk about more things than gold and companies winding up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all again later. Bye for now.